Memphis has won 24 in a row. Last loss in December. Aggies playing what amounts to a home game here. We are 200 miles away from College Station. Willie Kemp for Memphis. And Vern Lundquist, Texas A&M, the Aggies go. There's the ball to Dozier, or uh, Dorsey rather, backs in. Double team, kick it back outside. Chris Douglas Roberts, easy penetration. Right down the lane. Boy, that doesn't happen too often against AM. They're very good off the dribble. They contain the bounce, and this guy can get to the rim with the best of them. Oh, the long land down here. AC Law equals the score. These two teams meeting for the ninth time, but it's the first time in 40 years. They have never met each other in NCAA play. Turnover. Well, they're going to try and keep Memphis on the perimeter. They love to dribble, drive, and kick. They get good shots around the rim, but the three-point is a valued weapon. Texas A&M will inbound. Douglas Roberts guarding the inbound play. And Kirk has really been terrific in the tournament. Very sound performer, can run the point, play off the ball. There's a, little, a lot of ball screens on both teams. This is Carter, Josh Carter. Out of Dallas Lake Highlands. Back outside, shot clock at 15. Well, Gavalaskis is going to have to have a big game down on that box, I think. There's the quick hands of Willie Kemp. Kirk saved it. Jump shot, no good. Well, we had a little jersey pull. Whew. Looked like a wrestling match. Oh, my. Well, if they permit a very tough game, I think it favors Texas A&M. They do a lot of things where they stand you up on cuts. Very sound. Billy Gillespie tough-minded club on that end of the floor. And so the Aggies will inbound. Here's Law. And Vern, if you haven't seen him, people will not know which hand is his dominant hand. He's terrific with either deep with the left and a nice post entry here. Joseph Jones, turn around, gets the roll. Inside points, and I think you've got to attack Dorsey. He's so valuable for this Memphis team. Here's Willie Kemp. Kemp will open play about eight minutes. Andre Allen will take his place. Allen plays about 20 throughout the game. And we, they kick it out the baseline. Dozier. I think Kavalaskis with the little nickel dimer burn early. All righty. Well, what a job Gillespie has done down here. I mean, he has awakened the world of basketball on the campus and in the state. Well, Billy Clyde Gillespie in his third year. He's a native Texan out of Grayford, Texas. Taught history and coached high school ball. Three different schools in eight years here. And he's still a member of the Texas High School Basketball Coaches Association. In the corner. Well, Kemp. Blocking foul. Boy, look how tough they are. They close the gap. They give it on Kirk on the penetration, but you're going to have a hard time turning the corner. Right here, it's a lot of individual play that Memphis emphasizes, and if that's taken away, they certainly got to get some points up front from Dorsey and Dozier. Good thing is Dorsey on the glass. You got to keep him off. Roberts. How about that? Well, he's going to probably rely on more jump shots. I don't think it'll be as electrifying getting to the rim with the ankle problem. We're tied at four, 17-30 to go. Little post bump by, if they're going to call that, the advantage is going to be on Dozier, non-shooting. And Billy Clyde Gillespie, 47 years of age. Mentioned a graduate of Grayford High School there was such a small student enrollment from kindergarten through the 12th grade, they didn't have even a six-man football. Well, he said he, there were 20 kids in his graduating class. Another one on Dozier quickly, and they are limited up front. Oh, yes. Yeah, they uh, Memphis not as deep. How about this? Consecutive seasons at UTEP and A&M, Vern. This is just incredible what he's been able to do. You've known him a while. I got to know him at Illinois. Those two fouls are a real dilemma. Uh, but uh, at Illinois, I didn't think he'd be as tough defensively. I mean, the way they played at Illinois was good, sound defense. But, uh, you know, down here, he's just learned to lock people up. Very demanding. That was the second foul called on Robert Dozier. 
Joseph Jones. Baseline jumper, not there. And here comes Jeremy Hunt off the bench, number five. Anderson with the drive, knocked out of bounds. You know, it's interesting, this attack-attack philosophy of John Calipari's. They skip past and look for the threes. This team contains the dribble. They're going to have a dilemma getting to the rim. Willie Kemp. Hunt has replaced Dozier, who sits with those two fouls. This is Hunt, who averages 16 points per game off the bench. Nice entry here and a foul giveaway by Jones. Dorsey loading up. Woo. His shoulders go one side of the lane to the other. Fortunately, he's gentle. Pretty good reaction to that slap back. Jumper by Kemp. Long rebound. Oh, nice save by Dorsey, but it goes right to Kirk. Yeah, head up, heads up play by Kirk. Kavalaskis right to the rim. This is where he runs the floor beautifully. I mean, we have mentioned the first couple of games that he hasn't scored or done a lot of things. If he steps it up, what a, a tough threat down under the box with his step moves. A good range and runs the floor beautifully. Well, he's had a terrific year. Second team all Big 12, but he's really slumped in the uh, in the tournament. Five of 19 from the field for his last three games. His mom, Barute, came to see him on that NCAA uh, student grant where they can bring their parents once. I mean, that's just great. The last night at home, and he had a sensational performance. Nice back cut. Cyclis. How's the ankle now, Vern? I think it's. Uh, he's tested it. Wow. Well, C D R. Cyclis. We're tied at six. Alley oop. Nice. Look at the help. Is that gorgeous? Staying awake in the back, Allen. The old step and go. That's one thing you can do. I think you're gonna have to do more of that and not use the bounce as step and go. You open up, don't get good vision on the basketball, and you pay for it that time. Pompey at a distance. Josh Carter inbounds, AC Law. They got the post up. I believe Pompey trying to nail the smaller hunt on the box. That is the fourth team foul. And Billy letting the officials know he can count. <laughs> Look at how they close. From the corner, that's for three. Kavalaskis with the rebound. And they got a T, an early one. Yes, we do. A little verbalizing. Douglas Roberts will shoot the uh, free throw. And Chris Douglas Roberts misses the first. This is a Memphis team that uh, averages for the year 62% from the free throw line. They have been superb in the NCAA tournament, however. Well, they sure have stepped it up. I don't think that was a message T by Billy. No. I, I think he innocently got it. I think he was shocked. Sometimes the officials hear many things, Vern. <laughs> Some you don't want them to hear. Here's AC Law. Picked up by Antonio Anderson. He likes the bright lights late in the game, and he just feels the game out. Very mature attitude on the floor, Law. Here's Kirk. Andre Allen defends. Ooh, a little kiss. Oh, my goodness. Wow, I thought he was a little too deep for that. A little smooch. Down by the Alamo. Almost an air kiss. <laughs> Something you'd see in Royalty. And it's an 8-7 A&M lead. Andre Allen, whoa, what a pass. Nice slip by Dorsey. The pass was beautiful. The big fella diving to the rim. Memphis back up by one. Gavalowski spots up, top of the key. Into the corner. Josh Carter. Jones goes baseline on Dorsey. Wow, away from the traffic. Boy, a terrific entry pass. Memphis is doing more ball screening because they realize they can't crack the perimeter D. Here's one again. Nice cut. And Jeremy Hunt will go to the free throw line. So many of their guys can beat you with the dribble. 
I mean, you just can't relax. You take one entry, you beat it, and they come right back here with another guy. Now, Hunt is one of those who has excelled at the line, Bill. Eight of nine in the two games they've won thus far. And this was certainly an early sign in their game against Nevada when this Memphis team hit 21 in the first 25 on the line. Here's Donnell Kent comes in. He's been to the Barber this week. Uh, Donnell Mack. He they sure has. It. It's a little different from last week. Flames. Uh, well, he can shoot the ball, so I guess he can do anything he wants. The full court pressure. Trying to wear out the backcourt. Andre Allen picks up AC Law. Look at that speed. Oh, he does have it, doesn't he? Woo. Turn it up with a rebound. Three on two, alley -oop. Wow! Thank you. And Matt kept running and actually took the defense away. What a great look. Three-point Memphis lead on the slam by Christopher Douglas Roberts. Kavalowskis goes left hand, goaltender. He's got both arms. He's got great footsteps. Boy, he can turn it up and out. It gives him some great impact inside. Really sets up the dribble game as well. Kareem Cooper is on the floor now, number 42, listed at 6'11", 290. We couldn't afford the dinner. He's a big, a wide body, carves up some area, does some screening, not bad on the offensive glass. Hunt, he can hit the three, not this time. Kirk at the other end, Kavalowskis. 13-12, chance for the Aggies to reclaim the lead. Nice slip by Kavalaskis, and that was all a double screen out high for Carter, and the big fella with a terrific read. Nice use of the bounce pass inside. Aggies by one. Allen, look at the defense. Jumper over Kavalaskis. Well, he looks fresh, doesn't he? Douglas Roberts went out with 8-11 to go in that game last uh, last week in New Orleans. And it was described as a moderate ankle sprain. Billy? Uh, the open floor, the ability to use the bounce. It, we said his legs aren't really spry, but able to run, jump, elevate on the jump shot. And when he can put it on the floor, it sets this up. Good rebound in position. Carter got that one. Right side, Dominic Kirk. A high-low and a tough entry, but that's they run that beautifully. Pass nice. to one another well. Nice catch by Jones. Got a five. Off Douglas Roberts and out of bounds. Calipari uh, a little angry on the bench. Well, you know, he can count, you know, judging by his salary. I know he counts very well, <laughs> but he was up to seven on that. Shot clock at 16. Substitution now. Marlon Pompey is back on for... Antonis Kavalowskis, what a good start for him. Real sound. I mean, they give you that punch up front. Their perimeter people are so dynamic. It's Kurt for the nice entry pass. In the corner, that leaves Law open. Puts it on the floor, takes the jump. The Hoyt Wilhelm release. Everybody in the Big 12 knows about it. It's an odd looking thrust. Keeps both hands on the ball a little longer, and therefore that little stillness in the shot. Yeah, it's a, it's almost like a palm ball. What? Of course, he had broken those arms and wrists. Let's look at that. They got to walk. You know, Memphis has to stay alert because they run some real subtle inside screens. You saw Jones get the ball in the lane. You have to be extremely alert. Off the dribble. Donald Sloan, the freshman out of Seagoville, who is the heir apparent to AC Law. And they uh, split time now. A very talented kid, very good in traffic. He's quick to the 10. And not afraid in the early to put it on the deck as well. Sloan will inbound. Well, you can see the preparation. They know everything the other team's going to do at this stage. There's the double team on the floater. How pretty is that? AC Law. Oh, the fade away. A little like, oh, look at this cross. Not a good shot, though. Back outside to Mack. Little jump stop in the lane. Beauty. 
and oh. a foul. The forceful nature of the drive. Jeremy Hunt. And we're tied at 18. 11.40 to go. The winner of this one will face either Ohio State or Tennessee. There's Andre Allen going for the steal. 11.35 to go first half. Texas A&M, Memphis. The two and three seeds meeting for the first time ever in NCAA tournament play. By the way, Memphis has played 11 games in Texas, Bill, in NCAA play on six different occasions. They've won 10 in a row. They've only lost one game in this state. That was in uh, Houston against Creighton when you and I were young fellas. Well, a couple of years ago, I'm sure. Mm -hmm. Not too many. Uh, where they do handle the pressure, too. Nice slip to the goal here. Seeds one through four, a 27 and five record so far. And you have to go back to 1995, the last time a double digit seed didn't make it to this round. Mm. And the committee's got to feel good about everything, mm -hmm. and rightfully so. Sloan gets one of two. Nice looking prospect. Got a nice little touch in the lane. You know, folks in this part of the country remember LaMarcus Aldridge at University of Texas a couple of years ago. Oh. That's a three by Donnell Mack. He's got a great stroke. You cannot leave him alone. Tag him. Law into the corner. Joseph Jones for three. And he can make that. He got to, he'll bring the big guy away from the rim and help others low. A nice hands defensively on the slip by Dorsey. And now Law. 21-19 Memphis. Pompey, number 42. Oh, goodness. Once you turn your back, you're susceptible. And he had Jones loading up. If he had passed it, it wouldn't have happened. I'm going to give Jeremy Hunt about a 9.4 on that triple pike somersault. Well, you, you know, you, you may be right, but I just thought, why not throw it to Jones down on the box? You don't even have to worry about that okay. at the end. Good point by you for a change, huh? Now they do rotate their, their perimeter people beautifully. Hunt is out. Willie Kemp back in. And the two. The floor is tilting. Oh, yeah. The Cooper's there. Cooper and Dorsey. We'll load them up. Antonio Anderson had a terrific game against Nevada. His first career double-double in that one. Number 12. And earned a running more sets than you've seen all year. That was a little double to get a look. For Chris Douglas Roberts, look at the pressure causing the timeout. That's where they are tenacious. They get up in you, force you to make mistakes, or in this case, get the timeout. Memphis, of course, 30 plus wins back to back. First time that's ever been accomplished in the Bluff City. They were a number one seed last year, lost to UCLA in the regional final. And a nice job keeping Anderson into a tough floater. Donald Sloan, number 15, Pompey is on the floor. Here's Carter. Oh, nice, nice hands, though. Huh? Riley Kemp got the hands up. Absolutely. Both of these teams do a great job becoming taller. Roberts in the lane. They got a trip. Yeah. And a right call. You know, if he had to plant that foot, that could have been a problem, don't you think? His left foot, he would have had to put a lot of force on it. As he got in here, that next plant, well, he is very fortunate to get the free throws out of his but also not to hurt himself. Ninth team foul, so Douglas Roberts at the line. Kavalowskis getting ready to come back on the floor. One more. Were you curious at the shoot around when he didn't shoot and come out? Mm -hmm. uh, John said, though, that they had a workout in the morning yesterday at another facility and then they have a shoot around and spectators can come media can come and him not being here although he was in the back getting treatment right it, it just very upfront about it he's they both said look if he's ready to play he's going to tell me and we'll, we'll start him and he certainly has come out of the gate on fire he gets two at the line interesting you and i watched him in the pregame warm-ups here an hour before they tipped didn't look all that solid did he and look at the hustle here by anderson too you can't give up Sloan, no call. Yes, there's a call. I think that's one you could have let go. 
you know, just one of those where the drop step's going to come slow. Uh, kept never in position either. You know, but well, they got the right one if they did it that way. They would have let it go. So Willie Kemp uh, gives way to Andre Allen. 23-19, four-point lead. 9.44 to go first half. They got a hold here on Anderson. Wow. Hmm. Picky, picky. Next, the table manners. Billy Gillespie with a uh, wry look. He has received a technical already. He'll be careful. Yeah. And on the inbound play, Joseph Jones, bounce pass. Wow. He uses that offhand beautifully, but great defensive pressure. Memphis will run. Antonio Anderson flies to the basket. The big, the big guy. guy. The uh, large man. The body rub goes against him. Rub-a-dub-dub, -dub, the big fella. Oh, he just couldn't go sideways. Sideways to him as a normal man as he comes in over the top and punishing. Great effort, though. That's at, John. His, that's at his player. Yeah. He's bad. Either, you know, he was saying the other day, he was mad at his guys for not finishing. Make the shot. Was it, maybe that's what I should have done when I coached. Mm -hmm. Just told him to make it. Well, the object of his ire then was Antonio Anderson, who now occupies, he's going to listen to John Calipari now. Missed free throw. Offensive board here, Sloan. Nice shot by Carter on the outside. They go box to box. Kavalaskis, either hand. Nice. I tell you, he's a big role in this offense. And he contributes. It sets a lot of people up. Travel. They pulled the string. They had not trapped yet. They had not blitzed the ball screen. You've got to be alert against this outstanding defensive-minded team. Joseph Jones will uh, take a seat on the bench now. So we've got Carter, Kavalaskis, Sloan. Brian Davis is on the floor for the first time. His uncle Barry over on the bench, one of the members of the Hall of Fame of Texas A&M University. And AC Law plays 34 minutes. He seldom comes out. That's a tough delivery there. 23-21. Mm. Memphis running. And a shoulder. Andre Allen will go to the line. And Vern, that corner jumper leads to a fast break if you do not convert it. And Allen's showing you his foot speed and toughness around the rim. One-time walk-on, Andre Allen. Kareem Cooper is back on the floor now, and Joey Dorsey will sit down. That's 10 team fouls. So from this point on, double bonus. Andre Allen at the free throw line. He gets one of two. That's his average for the year, just under 50%. And it's a 8.41 time clock, 24-21. Memphis leading by three. Kavalaskis has hunt on them. He can do some damage if they so choose. Here he is. Wide open in the low post. He can elevate over him. Kick it back outside to Law. Back inside. And one. So much for the belly bump. Uh, Cooper gets there late. And the little sweet kiss in San Antonio. Kavalaskis here. How about that? The concentration and also the bump to buoy you, to keep you erect. Well, Vilnius, Lithuania. Arvita Sabonis was his idol growing up. And we, all, and we all know the great international play that's gone on in recent years. He is solid. Huh? Barton County couldn't speak English when he got there, Vern. 24 all. Mack, no place to go, finds a man in the corner. Off the rim, Kavalaskis. He finds Sloan, one on one. Easily. Under control, you don't want to charge. Mack. 
Rebound, Cavalaskis. Aggies will run. E.C. Law back outside of the half-court set. That's the feel he has. Great control of the pace of the game. Kavalowskis, 11 points in the early going. He's got the ball again. Donald Sloan. Right corner. Carter. Memphis calls timeout. Memphis coach John Calipari is going to run out of players to get mad at. Wow, he ran away from them in that timeout before. He was furious how they backed off defensively. And he emotes, stokes the fire. Well, Let's see the response. A few moments ago, he pulled Antonio Anderson and gave him a spot on the bench. This time, it was Andre Allen who left Carter alone for the three. And Joey Dorsey saying, good, it's not me. He's hollering at eight unanswered for a &M. Douglas Roberts tries the backdoor cut. There was Sloan defensively. Hunt in the lane. Beauty. Yeah, it sure was. And Kavalaskis did a great job on this Douglas Roberts. This is Josh Carter, brother Warren, a starter at Illinois. They're from Lake Highlands High School in Dallas. Of course, that's how Billy Gillespie got. He had recruited his brother for Illinois. Nice entry pass and a great oh. reaction by Dorsey. And that, that was close, but I think it was the right call. And of course, AC and his dad, such a big influence in a way. Billy Gillespie came in, made him work so hard, and he got the parents on board. He was going to pack it in. It was so demanding in the conditioning program. And, and Billy said to the parents, I think your kid's got something special. He could be a superstar. And when he called home, and even the notion of, well, maybe I'll move on, they said, forget about it. You stay in there. Of course, he's done so beautifully with this team and program. Anderson gets one of two. AC Earl was uh, a member of that AM team that went 0 and 16 in Big 12 play. That was his freshman season. Look at that in the lane. Look at How that. about that? That's what's great about him. We mentioned his ability with either hand. You can take one way. He reads it and then adjust beautifully. Anderson for three. Those are the Carter, ones you got to come oh. up. The long three rebounds you must get against Memphis. AC Law. That team went 7 and 21. AC Law freshman year back outside. Sloan for three. Off the mark with Hustle. Carter chases it down. And then the quick hands of Hunt for Memphis. Oh, dear. And you know, you don't have to foul. You had to help behind. However, we mentioned the hands and wrists as a youth were broken, and therefore he learned how to shoot left. He's got a great control. Here the nice adjustment to the right. He's so solid in that lane. Of course, it reminds all of us who uh, follow basketball of an old joke. He is amphibious after all. <laughs> he can go either way. Hunt. 31-28. Memphis 9 for 12 tonight, so hasn't been a factor. But a tournament tougher than huh? the free throw line, and there you go again, her. I did it. You're killing him. Under six, first half, 31 28. Kavalaskis can really have his way either finishing or making decisions because of the size disparity. Law on the floor. Look There's the switch. How about that? That's unbelievable. Look at the big guy because it's. It's Hunt under there. Gavalowskis had the tip and couldn't get it to go down. Anderson. The help from Joe Jones in the corner. Three. Well, did they use the floor magnificently? The spread by Hunt just had to make sure he was in bounds. Tough to cover at the rim and the kick to the wing. AC Law is in the process of becoming the first consensus All-American in the history of AM basketball. Wow. How about that? Now, you remember Beasley, right? Did, did John Beasley, yeah, yes. John, he was well. one of their great players. Yes. Sonny Parker was one. Right. And, of course, the great coach, Shelby Metcalf, who actually did games 
For Shelby just passed away this year. Really Shelby a Metcalf died uh, a couple of weeks ago, 76. He was the coach at AM for 26 and a half years. And look at this anticipation by Law. You don't need it now. Jones. Oh, off Allen. Well, that's why you don't like big guys to make decisions. Uh, <laughs> Betty, his mom, would be after him on that delivery. She gets after him generally uh, on the free throws. So AC Law will inbound under five to go. And this is, they like to hand off and give it to him. But a great adjustment oh. there by the big fella, huh? He had Cooper who never gave an inch. And Jay, Jay, to the rim. 33-31. Andre Allen. I'm impressed how Memphis has changed their philosophy. It generally might end with a dribble drive, but they've tried to run bumps and ball screens. And look at this denial by AM. Anderson with the entry pass. Dorsey, the double team from Sloan. And there's Kavalaska straight up. The put back is good. One of the great offensive rebounds gets over four a game. That was Moses Malone like. Miss it and go get it. Adjustment, huh? The shoulder fake baseline, the little baby hook. Joseph Jones gets two, he's got eight. Allen at the point. There's the switch. Well, they blitz it and then recover. Gavalaskis gets back. A nice job by Jones in the back to cover two. Here's Allen. AC Law defending. Boy, it's tough in that lane. Boy, they don't get much. Nice run out here. Sloan. Woo. How about the block? Anderson. Antonio Anderson. Great coverage. But if you don't have speed, get off the floor, Hubbard. Anderson offensively. Cooper. Looked like he thought he was going to make it. Yeah, I think so. He's uh, John Calabari's hollering on him. Get back. And he does. The big fella looming. A large edifice. Alley oh. Oh. oh! Over. Kavalaskis. This is incredible. The level of athleticism is beyond description. Two forty to go, first half. Jones. He traveled. And uh, on the floor now. Logan Lee, number twenty. Transfer from Hawaii. Left-hander. Another one of those lefties. Matter of fact, he started his career at South Plains Junior College in Leveland, Texas, and then went out to Hawaii for a couple of years. There's the offensive board from Dorsey again. Well, Niles, they're going inside, getting some touches and some opportunities, and Dorsey just cleans it up. You gotta get a body on him, and that doesn't deter him frequently. Under two to go, two point Memphis lead. In the South region, regional semifinals, Tennessee and Ohio State next year. Sloan. And look at Jones trying to establish post and Niles. That's Pierre Niles, a freshman. He's listed at 285. Lee for three. Oh! He's a, he's a confident player. He can stick that jumper. He can do the dribble drive and gets about six minutes a game and contributes. Cans a three to give the Aggies a one point edge. Andre Allen. This is Jeremy Hunt. He's in double figures with 10 points. Back outside, Niles. In and out. You think John Calipari wanted him shooting at 70 footer? You know, he doesn't have a bad touch. He didn't look that upset. I, I think he'd prefer one of the perimeter people okay. to shoot it. Just wondering. <laughs> Inquiring minds and just, all that. Just confirming. Look at the blow by. And that shooter cleans it up because three white shirts went to play the dribbler. Davis just in the right spot. Brian Davis, number 34. 40 seconds to go in a scintillating first half and a terrific atmosphere.
Douglas Roberts. Got to keep him in front of you. Andre Allen guarded by Lee. Ten on the shot clock. Twenty in the game. Oh, foul, offensive foul. Dorsey just took the screener and uh, the defender and shoved them. Now here's Sloan. Nice entry. Cavalaskis. Step through is gorgeous. Wonderful post move. Cavalaskis, 13 points. Aggies lead by five. Do you suppose they can get March Madness on demand I, in I, Vilnius, Lithuania? I, I'm sure they can do it. Then his mom's watching. She's up there watching, I'm sure. Baruta. She did make, as Bill said, a trip here for the last game against Missouri, the last game in uh, College Station for Cavalaskis. He hit 11 of 12 in that game. Joseph Jones, jumper off the rim. Douglas Roberts to the rebound. And I like the call. Go to Dorsey, maybe get number three on him with Jones on the offensive end. Anderson. Out it comes in the hands of Willie Kemp, number one. Dozier. Nice screen by Roberts. Dorsey underneath. Cavalostas comes down with the double, then gets back. Here's the double again. He fights through that. Kemp, five on the shot clock. And, you know, that's the first time they didn't challenge that shot. That was a flawless defensive set. A.C. Long with a few mistakes he does make. Didn't get up on him. Three-point game, 42-39. He does a nice job trying with the drill. Nice high-low. And it's blocked. Dozier with the block of Cavalaskis. Oh, not misuse of the bounce here. No hell ball. Kemp. Law slow getting up. Dozier tips back. Douglas Roberts. Nice play by Dorsey again. Cavalaskis got to finish quicker at that other end. Douglas Roberts. Well, Cavalaskis thinks he's got an easy one. He walks this guy up, but there's no dozing by Robert Dozier on that particular play. Good reaction. Five blocks by the Memphis Tigers. Marlon Pompey is back on the floor. He is uh, playing with three fouls picked up in the first half. Yeah, we didn't get many numbers because of that. Dorsey. Good help again. Sure was. A late double there by Pompey. And he altered the shot. Here's Law. End to end off the glass blocked. Tipped out of bounds, too strong. Boy, Dozier, just a great reaction. So many big bodies and arms flailing at the rim. You don't get the opportunity to finish. Did I overhear you at halftime talking with Tennessee coach Bruce Pearl? And did I hear you say you couldn't play this game? No, no our generation could not play with these guys. They're too quick. Uh, they just react beautifully. And they don't step back from anybody. And out of bounds. On the line, Memphis ball. I wasn't supposed to say that publicly, by the way. That was just for Bruce. Well, but, you know, inquiring <laughs> minds and all that sort of thing. Yeah. Uh, Bruce agreed, though. He said he was impressed that Memphis ran so many sets when they got the dribble drive game taken away from them. Ball in down to Dozier. It was nice to see Bruce with his clothes or his top on. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> There's the runner off the lane and good. Oh, nice help late, but the little cheeks delivery. They are so patient with that floater. Bill's reference to Bruce Pearl, of course, is the well-publicized fact that he clad himself, adorned himself in body paint, he and five of his players, to support the Tennessee women's program. Bank Ooh. shot. Well, Bombay. thank you. Thank you, Lord. Pompey off the glass. Uh, Bruce gives no meaning to doing rehab or working out. <laughs> Kemp. Dorsey with a duck in. Nice play on the high side. Doing the work early. Dozier. And Dorsey's going to get one. He's getting close. He is. You know, right. he, he got a bad one at the end of the half to get number two. Just shoved this guy. I think he gets a little frustrated. Yeah, 
but he's had the reputation of being slightly out of control. Well, on occasion, uh, what's that, three foul outs since December. He's played a lot of more under control. Kirk. Oh, underneath, Kavaleska's beautiful. Nice screen to set him up, and then you've got to use that offhand. Oh. Internationally speaking, that was extraordinary. 15 points for Kavaleska's. Turnover, Kirk. All the way rejected. How about the little screen to set him up? That is just terrific inside preparation. And Vern, early in the game, we mentioned how they do a nice job of camouflaging and getting across the lane. And they give that to Dorsey, and that is a major issue for this team and John Calipari. Number three. Three on Dorsey. He's uh, enjoying a conversation with Calipari now. Enjoying? That was said with a degree of irony <laughs> and slight sarcasm. Well, we have mentioned that the other end, he was shoving, almost discarding. And you don't mind him getting on this, a real hustle play to get back and try and negate. Dominic Kirk at the line, the junior from Dallas, Brian Adams. Billy Gillespie planks that one. And Douglas Roberts has it for Memphis. 46-43, 16-10 to go. Kirk, the guy here, big time performer on both ends of the floor, trying to contain the dribble. Excellent job. Probably their best defender, Bill. Right? And, and one of the better competitors, too, in the conference and in the country. And they're not getting it to go that Anderson bounce. Foul is called on Carter. That's his third. So uh, foul difficulties mounting for both teams. Pompey and Carter with three for the Aggies, and Dorsey with three for Memphis. Clank. You can still watch NCAA tournament games live online and get highlights or replay any game with NCAA March Madness On Demand. It's free at ncaasports.com slash MMOD. Nine of 14 at the line for the Memphis Tigers tonight. Not all that terrible. No. Nope. Two in a row, though. Yep. Empty trip. 9 of 15, 61% for the season. Dead last among the 65 teams who started tournament sport. Well, Jones was swimming, got himself a position, went box to box, and they passed beautifully to the guide hand. Jumper, Kirk, Camp Brother. Wow. See if they go inside again. A smaller Memphis lineup. Dozier defending Jones, who's battling for position. He does a great job with his derriere. <laughs> Locking low. Look how he bends there he over. You see if he turns. Nice bounce pass. Pump fake. Carter. Nope. Joseph Jones up. It's going to be Memphis ball. <laughs> Well, the big fella going box to box understands how to hold his man off and finish. Solid effort here from Texas a &M. Aggies won, of course, in Lexington over Louisville last week. 15.07 to go in the ball game. Memphis hitting its last three. They trail by two at 48-46, and they have the ball. AM has been able to run their inside game at the beginning of this half. Joe Dorsey gets those three. The third foul in this game that makes them play a lot smaller. Those are the only big on the floor. AC Law. Entry pass. Joseph Jones knocked it away. Ouch. Look at this handle. Camp gets it away from Law. Left side, Jeremy Hunt, number five. And Bert, I think they had been in the zone there that one trip. Now I think so too. Back. And they get the little. Bang on the baseline, you can't afford it. Joseph Jones, so valuable to this team. Second foul. Foul on number 30, Joseph Jones, has had some foul difficulties. Yeah, over the course of his career, he's been stymied on occasion. Offensive board, Dozier, off the Anderson miss. Hunt measures that one. Give him that kind of look, say goodnight. Boy, he is tough. Well, they all on the perimeter are not afraid, unabashed. Stroking it from deep. Memphis reclaims the lead. Hunt has 14. 
Kirk, backdoor cut, not a good pass. And a little behind, a little great without the ball. Uh, but you had mentioned the ability to get a little nylon from deep. They use all the floor. We've seen him skip to the corner, skip to the loo, to the wing. And a nice looking stroke. This Douglas Roberts gets a blow. Dorsey back on the court with three fouls. Pompey and Carter have three. Carter's on the floor for AM. Here's Jones fighting through. Guarded by Dorsey. Boy, Dorsey gives the effort, doesn't he? Look at him out there. But be careful. Kavalowskis. They do a nice job harassing the passer. Dozier, good job defensively. Four on the shot clock. He plays within the so There he is with the floater. Rebound Dozier for Memphis. Anderson pull up jumper. Kavalowskis for the Aggies. Well, they got away with that, didn't they? Nobody stopped the dribble. Got a great clean look. Not wrong as the pace slowed down a little bit. Yeah, it has. I, maybe a little fatigue. A lot of energy dissipated in the first 20. There's that little inside curl. You get the big fella to the block. Fade away, Kavalowskis. Dozier defensively. Memphis ball. Isn't that amazing? Well, you know, the second half is his time, by the way, Vern. Coming down the stretch, the last six minutes, five minutes, this guy is unerring. But great pressure on him. And he's a smart tactician. He plays within himself, feels the game, and doesn't force it. He's not one of those guys that has to score points to help his team win. Four of 11 from the field in this one. Here's Hunt with a fake in the lane. Oh. And you see Jones step and retreat with the breakdown on the bounce. That's where you show being tired. You don't move the legs laterally. You don't contain the dribbler. Memphis by three. Pompey wants the ball. Hunt is fronting him. And they're doing a great job with hands on the outside and then tough post up D as well. Look at Dorsey. They're having trouble finding a shot, aren't they? They sure are. Law. Way up in the air for the rebound. Pompey misses from point blank range and another Memphis rebound. And Dorsey didn't even jump. He's so wide. People were three feet away from him. Memphis by three. Carry. And nobody argues, so they agree. And on the turnover, Kavalowskis comes back. That's eight turnovers in the ballgame. You know, it's interesting when you watch John Calipari, he seldom gets upset at offensive mistakes. Mm -hmm. You know, he wants them to keep a high level of confidence you know, defensively. He preaches it, though. Dominic Kirk guarded by Kemp. Dozier does, does a nice job just making it tough. Deeper catch. Double on Kavalaskis. Now they triple team it. And, a good and over the back, Dorsey just picked up his fourth, right? Jones with a great job getting inside offensive position. Dorsey tries to wrap him up. That's a problem right now for Memphis. Nine ties, 14 lead changes. Biggest lead by either team was at halftime. Aggies were up 42-37. Donald Sloan back on the floor. Jones goes baseline. And there is the body being put on Joseph Jones. And Law gets a little bit of a blow right now, Vern. Nice kick out. Kirk off the front rim. Kavalowskis, clean block. Aggie basketball. Well, you can see the maroon shirts getting great offensive positioning now. They're not able to both deny and check at the same trip. Andre Allen on from Memphis. He'll replace Willie Kemp. And as Bill noted, AC Law getting a little bit of a breather now. And cross screen now to get a jumper. Carter. Clean look. That's what they wanted. You know, it's funny. He's terrific when they go kick it out to him and he steps into the shot. Sometimes you come off that curl, your shooting percentage goes south. Aggies uh, having difficulty getting open looks. Now Carter had one, but they're hitting 33%. And for the year, they shoot near 50, 49% for the year. Three of 13 in this half. Two free throws coming. 
Chris Douglas Roberts with great ability to break it down. Handles can catch and shoot it. I mean, he's a real dilemma to defend. Gets the first, shoots one more. Four point lead. AC Law, there was that uh, brief breather. <laughs> well, Billy Gillespie is uh, known as a very good coach. He's not going to leave him out too long. <laughs> uh, just refresh him, revive him a little. Two for two for Douglas Roberts. Largest Memphis lead of the night. It's at five. And look who Roberts is playing, too. He's got some length, which takes away the jumper. That should set up the dribble drive for AC Law. That one's kicked. Hit by Dozier, Aggie ball. You got to be ready on the inbounds, too, Vern. You run some nice little screens, frequently for the inbound guy. Dominic Kirk. Pretty. Oh. Oh. A little scoop to the hoop. Oh. Great body control. Oh, put it in that box. Double. High catch by Dozier. Here's Allen. Little slip. Dozier. How about Kavaloskis? Stayed his ground. They do such a good job. It's going the other way, Vern, of making themselves bigger. Put your hands up. You can't get the entry pass. And the recovery, doubling on the block, sets the tone. And how about this one at the other end? Cup it. Put it on there. They teach you not to fumble at Texas A&M. Hold on tight, little kids. Back outside now, the offensive foul called on Hooper. Little Kavalowskis. Great job, and they don't put enough pressure on the pass. Kirk gets a great clean look. 17 for Antonis Kavalowskis. Douglas Roberts guarded by Kirk. Very closely guarded by Kirk. Uh, here's the bump. Oh, boy, they did a nice job. They punish you, stretching the leg. It is painful to do. Oof. Fourth on Carter. Wow. So midway through the second half, Dorsey sits for Memphis with four. Carter will sit for the Aggies with four. A perfect trap, and then they rotate. Oh, they practice that play. Oh, he missed the point blank shot. Uh, you know, John Robick, the assistant for John Calipari, they're going the other way. They have a drill where they put a big sponge up and they lob it over. It looks so good, but in the game, if you don't complete, a little yoke on the brow. And so Cooper comes back, Niles goes out. Well, you missed one dunk. Sparky takes you out. Yep. That's an old basketball rule, isn't it? Well, you, you know, it's, it's an easy deuce that you don't get. And of course, I'm thinking of Sparky Anderson, the great, you know, the manager used to give those pitchers the hooks quickly. Entry pass, Kavalowskis. Nice ball fake. How about the footsteps here? They're going to get offense on them, though. Nice duping by Dozier. Second foul on Kavalowskis. 53 52, 9 37 to go. Marlon Pompey is going to come on for Joseph Jones now. And they got a nice rotation, don't they? Up front, give a little rest. They punish you inside and guard you at the other end. Winner of this one advances to the regional final. They'll get either Ohio State or Tennessee. Dozier. Well, That's Allen, last by law. Allen really did a nice job getting it. You know what I'm thinking, Vern? Ahead in this game, you don't want it close going down the stretch with AC Law. He makes shots, he makes plays, he makes them productive. Four times in February alone, he hit a three to either win or tie the game. Nice hesitation in the last possession. Well, big time clutch player. Hunt. Nope. Tip, nope. Ooh, second tip, yes. Where are the maroon shirts on that end? Back to a three-point edge. 
Nice hands, huh? They don't make many mistakes inside. They make good decisions on their pass out. Why didn't he just catch it? It was a slip. Yep. The tap goes to the right guy, Law. Here's Kavalowskis. Spot up three. There it is. The knuckleball. Get a bigger mid. Tied at 55. The answer? That yeah, sure Jordan. is way outside. And not a prayer either. That's talent. No divine intervention there. Jeremy Hunt has 19 points. What was the hang time? 4.6. Law. Sloan on the floor. Or do they make you work inside cross court? Look at this. Beautiful. Great pass. Crossover. Floater. Kavalaskis loses it. Perfect position. Just didn't finish the deal. Calipari back to his bench. Antonio Anderson on. Douglas Roberts will get a rest. Kavalaskis has picked up a few American traits. One of them was he looked at his hand as though it's, you know, somebody hit me. I couldn't, I couldn't have slipped. <laughs> He gets a blow now as well. That rotation continues. Davis up front now. Give Pavelaskis a blow. Andre Allen has the ball. Here's Hunt. Leading scorer for Memphis. He'll pull up jump. That's short. Taken by Law. 7.35 remaining. AC Law brings it outside. That's what I mean. He gets in there and makes great judgments. A lot of guards be skitterish and throw up a bad one. Back to Pompey. Dominic Kirk. Uh, very fortunate there. He got too close on the entry pass, but he was smart and backed off Sloan. 7 17 to go in the ballgame. Aggies will inbound. Jones, Law, Kavalowskis, Kirk, and Donald Sloan on the floor. AC Law, good switch by Dozier, but he got to reach him. And Dorsey, uh, they are having major foul issues. Robert Dozier picks this one up. That's his third. Wow. There's alongside there's Kareem Cooper. They're trying to nurse it down with Dorsey and his four fouls. Major dilemma up front. Trouble getting it inbounds. And Jones has it. Notice they did a good job now on law. Earlier it was Roberts. Entry pass, Cavalaskis, the cut from Jones. Look at the Jones inside the rebound. Put back and he got it. What touch? He worked, Fern. He was on one side of the rim on the jump hook. He went all the way around to the other. Just a solid read by the big fella. 12 points for Jones. One point Memphis lead. There's the switch on Douglas Roberts. Anderson kicks it out. Kemp. Back to Anderson. Back to Kemp. Drives the lane. Oh. Put back is not there. Kavalowskis. Aggies with a chance to regain the lead. Nice look. They beat him down. The big fella Cooper couldn't get the puppies down. That's not his forte. Running wire to wire. Six fifteen to go in this one. Aggies by one. 59-58. Douglas Roberts, Dozier gets the ball now. He's guarded by Antonis Kavalowskis. Allen for three. Wow. And a challenge by Law. Earlier he had not done that. John Calipari's got Dorsey with the four fouls back on the floor. Kirk will inbound for the Aggies. They trail by five. They got the go-ahead layup from Donald Sloan. And Donald Sloan will now head to the bench and get a rest. And Josh Carter is coming on playing with four fouls. Dorsey is on the floor for Memphis with four fouls. And they look for the home run and they get the timeout. Nice protection in the backcourt by Anderson. So the Aggies use one. 
A.C. Law, All-American point guard for Texas A&M. Held in check for the most part tonight. Pretty much. Uh, terrific defense. They've alternated people on them. And they've got to get free, the two guards. Kirk, they go deep. The home run to Jones. Joseph Jones. Dorsey's got to be careful. And he affected the shot. Memphis trying to reclaim a lead. They were up by as many as five. Donald Sloan, the backup point guard, put the Aggies up 59-58 on a layup with 6.15 remaining in the game. And here is Chris Douglas Roberts, Antonio Anderson. Memphis has hit only two of its last nine from the field. And Memphis with a great setup there. Perimeter dribble, the weave. Pretty much our generation in the back cup, but collecting at the point of attack. Texas A&M solid D. Now Donald Sloan on for Josh Carter. Carter is playing with four fouls. Dorsey for Memphis also playing with four fouls. Now Memphis has started to press and do a good job of that. Look at the foul from the rear uh, by Law. The fumble helped Allen. That's the first foul on AC Law. And Vern, making the free throws, you've alluded to it all game. They struggle on the free throw line. If they, well, it's not a shooting situation, but right. they've got to score to impact this press. Texas AM has been vulnerable the last couple of trips. They had a timeout on inbound and then a turnover. Anderson finds Dozier. Andre Allen, nice drive. And a free throw coming. And Law with the push. Oh my goodness, trailing, something you seldom see. Right here, the little bump by Dozier gets the angle, and how about this hanging with it, the concentration, the delivery. Oh, gracious, amongst the bigs as well. 11 of 17 at the line, and uh, the little fella is not all that adept at free throws. 51% for the season. Mm. That looked pretty authoritative. And there you are, Mr. Lundquist. And they don't get the press set up. They back it off. Memphis by two, 5-21 to go. As you can see, this one's been back and forth. 16 lead changes. There's the pass into Kavalowskis. What a dish. on oh, this team inside. What a negation by Dozier. They're a terrific inside passing team. Their hands are extraordinary. Vision, position. Oh. Six blocked by the Tigers tonight. 5-10 to go. Billy Gillespie, John Calipari, the respective coaches. Dominic Kirk guarded by Allen. How about Dozier knocking shots back? I mean, he'd be very handy in church on taking a collection. Ha. Look at Kavalaskis look down and check the line. Absolutely. Look at this load up. This is dangerous. AC Law. Jones leaning back. Nice Kirk. deep pass. What a Was great look. That pretty. Oh, and Kirk delivery. But the load up by Jones. And he's hobbling, by the way, Vern. I don't know what's wrong with him. He's limping as he goes back. His calf's bothered him. He might, might have a cramp. They look like they might be in a, let's see, either the zone or a, it's a triangle in two. Billy Gillespie going through his bag of tricks. Now, this is a nice wrinkle. You must rebound. It's really three on three. Josh Carter's out on Andre Allen. Bring it down and give it to Dorsey. Not there. Chase it down, and it'll be Aggie ball. Boy, the wrinkle work. Confused Memphis, threw them off. Tigers attack. Not what it should be. Billy Gillespie, third year as a head coach at AM, is going to go to his bench. Send Sloan in, and Joe Jones is limping badly. I think it might be a cramp, just a guess, the way he was reacting. Jeremy Hunt is on the floor now for Memphis, number five. He'll replace Andre Allen. And they're stretching him out behind the bench there. So on the floor for the Aggies now, A.C. Law, Josh Carter, Kirk, Donald Sloan, and Kavalowskis. Under four to play. Inside game not as tough now. Should be perimeter oriented. Dorsey battling Kavalowskis. And that's not a bad idea. With Dorsey's backed off twice now. Let the big guy get a touch low. Now they do a ball screen with him. Seven on the shot clock. Switch with Dorsey. Three on the shot clock. Off the rim, the putback. Oh! Staying with it! 
Well, we talked about his ability in the lane. The floater has been going, but hanging tough with the putback. Mr. Clutch, that's him, comes Stretch alive time. in the last four minutes. We have 310 remaining in this one. Douglas Roberts. Well, no question about his ankle. That was explosive and athletic at the rim. Three to go. And one four now. Late ball screen. He tries to turn and deliver. Let's see what they do. Antonio Anderson is guarding AC Law. 15 on the shot clock. 240 to go in the game. Keep him in front. That's the key now for Memphis. No, he went for the crossover. There's Sloan penetrating. Kicks it back to Law for three. This one does not go, and Dorsey has another rebound. Chris Douglas Roberts. You're going to have to help. He's so good with the dribble, and they get the bump outside on Kirk. Fatigue sent in. They can't move the puppies, Vern. Third foul, Dominic Kirk. Douglas Roberts, five of six in this game. He's got 15 points. He is 19 of 22 for the tournament. So if you want to put your best free throw shooter on the line, you got him. Ooh. And they take the shooter. That's how basic this game is. Fundamentally sound, and not the real pure stroke you're accustomed to. The first Douglas Roberts. There's that inside screen to get Kavalaskis to the box. Carter blocked oh, by Dorsey. Oh, and a That's foul it. on Dorsey. That's that, five. That is it. What a reaction by the big fella. Coming down the stretch, he knows how important it is. He reads it and reacts, and you can see there is definitely a big physical bang. He just didn't get the right angle to swoop behind and then reach for the basketball. Uh, of course, everybody that blocks shots feels, I got all the ball, and up top, he, no question he did. 63-63, 150 remaining. Now, Josh Carter is going to go to line for the Aggies. And over the course of a season, 79% free throw shooter. And as a team, uh, there's 71%. Jones is back, by the way. Uh, he was in on that last free throw, so they've got him resuscitated, although he is walking gingerly. Carter will shoot two. First trip to the line tonight. Carter with four fouls, Kirk Jones and Pompey with three. Dorsey has fouled out. Dozier and Cooper with three each. One more for Josh Carter. A one point AM lead. Donald Sloan on for Carter for the Aggies. Uh, they got to match up on the perimeter because their ability to turn the corner, Memphis, and create either for themselves or others. Kirk on Roberts, big matchup. We try to deny him totally. Best defender on best scorer. And Here high, they are. High ball screen. Got to get some help. There's the screen and the slip. A nice job by Jones. Back outside to Allen. AC Law guards him. Eight on the shot clock. Joseph Jones underneath. Loose ball. A Law ball. saves it. What a play by Law. Oh. They're going to hold it again. They've been doing this of late. And Jones is ambling to the corner there in the left part of your screen, Bird. He is struggling. One minute to go. The winner gets either Ohio State or Tennessee. Timeout, Texas A&M. Dominique Kirk will inbound. Kavalowskis, Law, Joseph Jones, and Josh Carter on the floor for the Aggies. Oh, he lost it. Are they going to say it's off Memphis? Yes. And no argument. 
I think Law, obviously, he knew, he knew that. But what a chance to take, huh? Well, it sure was. And right here, you can just see how he caught it uh, on the foot. Yeah. You know? Boy, it's tough to cross over. And the shot clock, Bill, is at 8. Yeah, in the backcourt. Yeah, they called the timeout with 13. So they should not let Law get it or Kirk forcing a difficult. Let the bigs get it. And well, they, they go for the home run. run. Law, Anderson back. Missed it. Allen with the rebound. Ooh. 40 seconds to go. Jumper, Hunt. No. Anderson offensive board. Allen passes on the shot. They got the timeout. Shot clock off. 25.8 to go. Allen, Antonio Anderson. Roberts on the baseline, deep left. Antonio Anderson back to Hunt. Here's Allen for three off the rim. Hunt. No. The putback. No. No again. They got a foul. Oh, how many opportunities to rebounding. So essential all game long. You've got to come up with the long one, the rundown. This is just great pursuit. Oh, how about the open look as Jeremy Hunt comes up empty, and that's the foul right there. Antonio Anderson at the line. He's one for four tonight. Woo. We're tied. They're going to make him think about it. AM with the timeout. Antonio Anderson, two of five tonight for the year, 64%. He shoots one for the lead. And Vern, if he makes it or misses, they can get all the way up the floor and get a layup in 3 1. Wow. Early onions. Memphis leads by one. Oh, they get it to the wrong. Oh, they get a break here. Terrific defense. They had Jones be the only outlet. Is that great organization on the fly? Texas A&M calls time. Two O. Two O. Wow. Two O. Ooh, that was a bang banger. Well, now that presents you've got to throw the ball into the front court, so you've got to do a either a down screen or a back screen lob and then pop to the ball. Uh, Jones looks like he's inbounding it. Bill, how do you find a 1.1 seconds to take uh, off the I, clock? I, I agree with you wholeheartedly. And we saw the same thing. And they, so they have taken 1.1 off the clock. And the Aggies are left with two seconds flat. Uh, down by one. It uh, looked like they're going to try to screen long, get him to turn up the floor. If your Memphis want to keep him going the other way, Jones inbounds. Dominic Kirk. Memphis wins. 